A lot of this has to do with building in those structures, building in those time blocking, building in those set things that you know, every day I do these things, those habits, and we talk so much about atomic habits lately, um, but those habits that you're developing so that when those excuses creep in, you're able to fall back on the discipline that you have to get those things done that you said you were going to do. Um, otherwise, excuses will, they will overrun your life. This uh, book, Atomic Habits, is incredible. Highly recommend it for you, Cole, and for, for everybody listening or watching. Um, it's crazy. So he talks about this guy that lost 100 pounds in a year. And he said for the first six weeks, what this guy did was get ready for the gym, drive to the gym. He would stay for five minutes and then leave and go back home. So he'd get ready, go to the gym, stay for five minutes, literally just kind of walk in, walk around, and leave. He did that for six weeks. And most people would say, that's crazy. Like, what? It wasn't getting anything done. Like, that didn't accomplish anything. Well, what it did was it established a habit of going to the gym. It established a habit of, of bringing stuff to the office so that you can go straight from work. It established a habit of getting up in the morning and getting there because you can't build upon a habit that you haven't already created. I'll say that again. You cannot build upon a habit that does not exist. If you're consistently building upon the wrong habits, then you're not going to build the right outcomes. And so, yes, you have to be consistent. You have to day in, day out, do the things that you know you should do, but you have to also work on those skills, hone those skills, refine those skills to do them the right way. It just takes having the hard work ethic to be consistent on a daily basis. And so if, if I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm watching this podcast, I'm thinking, man, hey, I'm not really great at anything. Well, are you good at something that you can do every single day? Yeah. Um, and, to me, that's the encouragement of this. It's not what it's what we it's what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. It goes back to the system, back to having that structure in place and the discipline to follow the structure that you put in place, regardless of what your results are before you get there. So saying that on Fridays, from this time to this time, I do this. No matter if Monday through Thursday you absolutely crushed it or whether, or whether Monday through Thursday you had zero results on Friday from here to here is, is when I do this activity and just being able to stick to that. It almost makes it like dummy proof. A lot of what they talk about in that book of uh, Atomic Habits is building your habits um, strategically. And so, you know, combining them with a habit that you already have, making that habit enjoyable, like rewarding yourself when you um, complete uh, what you're supposed to be doing. There's, there's a lot of tactics that you can use. I would highly recommend uh, reading that book because I think it'll be super insightful uh, for you specifically with that, with that goal. But it's all about creating habits. Mm -hmm.